So it is December 1st, which means not only is it time to open those advent calendars, but it's also time for the radioactive promo. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, say 5% using code HABER. EA's design team this year are going crazy. We have got these brand new bright yellow radioactive cards. We've got Messi... Benzema, Sam Kerr, Valverde, Arujo, Kvaritskelia, Nani, Eriksson, uh, Masrawi, Oshwala, Gvardio, Sabozlai, Zinchenko. Uh, loads of fantastic looking radioactive players. I've got 100 player picks to open for this brand new promo as well. Hopefully, we can in fact get ourselves some decent radioactive cards. That's what I'm hoping for. Obviously, we built these when they were still out, the 78 plus player picks. And we've held them until the brand new promo to make a fantastic video for you guys. If you do enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here as well, as it greatly helps out the channel. I'm really hoping we can get ourselves a radioactive card or two. That's what I'm really hoping for. I want to see that like bright yellow poking out from behind the player pick. But it's not not yet. <laughs> you know, it's not it's not come just yet. But I'm hoping it will come in this video. Um but yeah, and also happy December. We are now just 24 days away from Christmas. Danko, we'll take an inform. We are now just 24 days away from Christmas, which is really exciting as well. So hopefully you guys all have a great December. Hopefully you open your advent calendars as well um, and you're wearing your Christmas jumpers. The really fun thing about this promo as well is the chemistry for these cards works differently. So the base chemistry for these cards in each position is already set at two. They already get two chemistry because they get two club links, two league links, and two nation links, which means they get full chemistry with just one player from the same league as them or the same nation as them as well. Or maybe it's a manager from the same nation. I can't remember what they said. But basically, they are really cool for chemistry as well. You just need one of these guys with one player from the same league to get the full chemistry. So I think that's pretty fun. I like that. So one of these with an icon gets them full chem because the icon gives a plus one league to everybody. So overall... I think that's a W for me. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. I think that it's uh, it's a cool system. It's a cool system. And these cards should be fun for chemistry as well. So hopefully we can go ahead and pack one or two of them. Ericsson's the one I want the most, to be honest. I mean, Messi would be pretty cool. You know, he's kind of washed now. But <laughs> Messi would be cool. But I want Ericsson, man. I want my Man United boy, Christian Ericsson. 383 times three. Oh, we got one. Timo Pukki. I wasn't even looking, man. I was seeing we've got a 383 times three if you back out and go back in, which I will get in a minute. Timu Puki, the Minnesota legend, obviously of Norwich previously. Guarantee he's not worth anything, but it's cool for MLS links. If you've got an MLS card you want to get in the team, he helps massively getting that card in on full chemistry. I did see it kind of had like a yellow glow around it. I mean, that card design is sick. I know it's probably going to be one of those where it's like, oh, another one, Kessier, go on. Let's go. I was going to say, this is going to be like Marmite, isn't it? People will either love it or hate it. Um, I think it's cool. I like it. Kessie is a good one as well because the card actually looks really good. Don't think it'll be super expensive, but like it's a really cool looking card. We'll take that. All right. Good good from EA. Nice. Maybe a back to back. No. Oh, Marquinhos. We get another walkout. We'll take that. All right, EA. These definitely got a bit better. They started off pretty badly. But a 91 Kevin De Bruyne right after Marquinhos. We'll take that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now we're just looking for like a Messi. You know? Messi or, or someone like that. And we've pretty much completed it. We get Joel Linton who was a special card a minute ago. Literally like two minutes ago. Um, What else we got? We got ourselves Gonzalo Ramos. I mean, some of these cards look really good to be fair. Some of these cards do look really, really good. I think in general, like the ones I'm most excited about. Valverde looks incredible. Arujo looks fantastic as well. I mean, even N'Golo Kante looks sick. The only issue is that I just did Evo N'Golo Kante. So, like, if I packed him on tradable, I'd feel like that'd be a bit of a kick in the teeth. I think Nani looks really good as well. And Nani as well with the uh, Portuguese nation links is pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Benjamin looks okay. Sam Kerr looks decent too. Oshwala looks absolutely insane. Vardio looks good as well. And Sabozlai. So, I'm quite excited, man. I think it's a good promo. Pookie again. Another Pookie. We've got three so far, though. These seem kind of easy to pack, actually. I mean, we'll take three out of the first 50. All right, we're starting off the second set of 50 now. We had three in the first set of 50, which I think is a really good return. It's sort of about one in 16-ish picks. I think that's pretty fair. 
if we could go ahead and continue on that level, even maybe get some better ones than what we got, I'd be very happy, EA. I'd be very happy because we only had Pookie and Tessier. Despite getting three, two of them were Team Pookie. So if we could go ahead and get ourselves a uh, Oshwala or an Ericsson, I'd be very happy. I'd be very happy. Handu, yeah, if you can get a hero pick or two built. Hey, Ericsson. Ericsson. Oh my God, Ryan. Edison. 88 rated Edison is always a W. We'll take that. I just had Ericsson, but and my head's fried right now. We'll take Edison, though. Edison's an 88 rated. First walkout, the second set of 50, which have not been great. I can't lie. They really haven't been fantastic. We've had one walkout out of about 20 so far, maybe a bit more than that. Um, it's not looking good. I'm, I'm kind of not expecting to get anything good here. But if we could just turn it around with a cheeky little radioactive card, I'd be very happy, EA. You know? Not, not right there. Hey, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno! Was just a road to the knockout. Sadly, I've just realized we have to beat Bayern for him to get any of his upgrades. But if we beat Bayern, he could potentially get both of his upgrades. I'm not even going to pretend that that's possible. We're not going to beat Bayern. We're out of Europe. It is sad. The last five of the second set of 50. Not looking good. It's not looking good at all. We've not had a single radioactive in the second set of 50 at all. We've had maybe two walkouts. I think two walkouts in the second set. It's been a very bad set of 50. Two remaining. Can we get a radioactive to save us, EA? Not in this one. The last player pick, please. And there you go. Well, it is what it is. We now have an 83 times 3. My free 83 times 3. Let's see if we get ourselves... We actually got one. A radioactive. Let's go. Carlos Vela from LAFC. Respectfully, Carlos Vela. I really hope Houston win. Because Houston have been really fun to watch in the MLS this year. Hector Herrera has been bossing it. Uh, Griffin Dorsey has been a fantastic addition to that team. Hobo through the season. Um, I just think in general, Houston has been a really fun team to watch as well. So respectfully, I really hope that LAFC get absolutely battered by Houston. Um, I think it's tomorrow night. The semi Is it the final? The Eastern Conference? Western Conference? I don't know. Anyway, I hope hopefully uh, LAFC lose. And of course, like every Friday, we have brand new store packs. 60 player items, 81 or higher, 2 guaranteed 87 or higher, 34% chance of a radioactive card in the radioactive gamma pack for 2,000 FC points. Let's see if we get one. We do not get one, sadly. It's going to be Brazil, goalkeeper, Edison. But it will be a double walkout, and hopefully the double walkout is like Mbappe or something. Fingers crossed. Who have we got? Come on, be a good one. She was literally... I mean, I'm glad that we didn't get baited by that, but she was literally just uh, Thunderstruck. So it's a bit of a shame. Ooh. A lot of a lot of fodder there, though. We have dupes as well. Okay. Do you know what? That's not bad, to be fair. I am chipping away at the play of the month in Bappe SBC. So that's helpful. We get a 10-game loan on Christian Eriksen. Always nice. Timo Puki can go away. I've packed... How am I getting... Oh, my God. Team Pukki so common, isn't he? Oh, I don't really want to keep it. I don't even want to keep Eric's in the club, do I? All right. Let me get rid of these dupes. All right. I've thrown some of my dupes into a base hero player pick now. EA. Janola. Yaya Torre. Ramirez. Lucio. I know I'm forgetting a few. Let's see what we get. We get the KGB KDB. Uh, it's not ideal, is it? All right. On to my second account now, where we have three base heroes and a one of three 83 plus player pick. Sure, okay. Inform Shaw's great fodder, man. This account does need fodder, so that's actually really good. All right, here we go. That account, speaking of fodder, that's an 86 rated fodder card right there. Next one, what are we saying? Not bad. Abadi Pele's class, to be fair. Abadi Pele's fantastic. Third and final one now. Ledley King's not bad either. I think he's usable. I do think he's usable, in my opinion. Um, I'll store those in the club. I, I took Ledley King there. I could have took the fodder card in Morientes. But I think Ledley King's actually usable, to be fair. So we'll open that one up first. Um, we should have an 83 times 3 on this account. Do we not have one? That's weird. I don't know why they didn't give me one. Uh, but, obviously, we have enough to do the um, radioactive gamma pack as well. So let's open this up next. Here we go. Let's get another radioactive card, please, EA. Or not. That's fine. Fodder then. Can we get a fodder, please? It's Erdegaard. Hopefully, the walkout is like 90 plus. Give me like a Courtois or something. Just fodder. 
please? Who is going to be the card on the flip side? Here we go. Allison. Near enough. 89 rated goalkeeper. We'll take that. What else we got in this pack? Gundawan, Prejo, Muziala, Onana. Any dupes? 16 duplicates. Nothing expensive. I mean, I'll take that. It's fodder. All right. Now we have got, I think, Foot Champs Rewards, Hero Picks, and content for my boy Hackobs right now. We're going to start off with his first Foot Champs player pick, 88 Victor Osman. Fodder's nice, but we want a radioactive card here. Yeah, come on. Yes. Mm, this Timmy Pookie, brilliant. Okay, well, we'll take it. He seems very common at the moment. Now the final one. Come on. Worth the 20 games? Probably not. All right, let's see if the hero picks are better. They weren't great, in my opinion. Keesler is solid. All round, decent, decent hero. Doesn't get used enough, in my opinion. Second one now. I think Ledley, Ledley is probably the one. I mean, Littman is meh. Littman is meh. Nah, Ledley King's actually usable. He wants he wants Littman and he just moved the, the thing himself. All right, he wants Littman and fair enough. Um, The fodder, I guess. Ledley King is usable, but like at the same time, 86, you know, it's a bit, uh, a bit. Uh, but I think he has, he has like a 20, 83 plus pack as well. 20 times 83 plus pack to open. Come on, surely. I don't know if they could pop up behind walkouts or not. I'm praying I open the wrong pack. I'm praying I open the wrong pack. Surely I open the wrong... That's not a 2083 plus. Oh my god. That is so unbelievably atrocious. Wow, that's so bad. 